Hey YouTube, what up? Brent Kellops here, and today I have an update video for you guys. Now, sorry I haven't been too active lately, I just uh, kind of have gotten off track, but I do thank you guys for the tons and tons of positive support, feedback, comments, everything that I've been getting lately. Now, I know you guys really do enjoy these highly edited update videos, well, highly edited in my standards, some people it might not be highly edited, but uh... I know you guys enjoy them nonetheless, and I really, really uh, hate to say this, but I am going back to school soon. Uh, I don't know why that was a yay sound effect. That should definitely be a boo. That's better. And uh, once I go back to school, uh, I really will not have as much time to film. I will try to up or uh, get his uh, these updates out on weekends is really the only time I'd be able to do it. Uh, probably late Saturday night in like in between the hours of 12 to 6 in the morning is when I'd be able to post them. Because guys, I go to a school where they think that school comes first before anything else in your life. And uh, yeah, so it's not going to be too much fun for me. But uh, first what I want to start off with saying about these RCs is uh, Purple Hippo 440, Rusty Mamba VXL, and I are all having a competition to see who can make the Rustler go the fastest. Now, I believe uh, Purple Hippo topped his out at 38.9. I'm not sure I'd have to check that. I will put the speeds down in the description. Uh, Rusty Mamba topped his out at 40 flat, and I topped mine out at 76. So, uh, yeah, I did get 78, but I don't want to say it's 100% accurate because I was using my phone as a GPS instead of a GPS. But uh, that GPS currently does not work. It got wet so uh, when we went boating, camping. So that kind of stinks. But so far, I am in the lead by 36 miles an hour. Uh, these guys will catch up eventually, and it will be much closer margins. But uh, as for right now... I am in the lead, and these guys definitely will get their cars souped up and get 3S LiPo for them. But I do want to show what I my setup real quick. Uh, I'm not worried about anybody stealing it because it's my car, and nobody can else have, nobody else can have a steering link as one of their rear tow uh, rods. So <laughs> uh, that was a little bit interesting that I just finally realized that I realized that just on camera, you guys. But uh, it does have a rebuilt Valenian motor in there, which I will be swapping out for a more powerful motor eventually later this fall and winter when I do have some more money to spend. Uh, I do need to get a fan for this. I will be cutting out, maybe. Tell me if I should do this or not, but I should probably cut out the back of this. Just give it a little bit more ventilation to here in the motor. And uh, yeah, so my gearing, you guys, is, I, I believe it is... 3076 which is way 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 too high and in fact I'm actually kind of worried about running it with that gearing because I don't want to smoke it out so yeah that's about it with the rustler you guys sorry for starting off so uh, just interestingly but uh yeah now on to shout outs okay guys so this week for shout outs I am much more organized and uh, these are all of the ones that I had currently from these last couple months or so and I did get all these done, but if you do not see your name on here, uh, first pause the video. And if you did not see your name on there, please uh, be sure to just put it in the comments. Say, uh, I asked for a shout out, but I did not get one. And ask, tell me how long ago you got it, and I will, based upon priority, I will give you a shout out. So, uh, like, I know I messed up really bad one time, and I forgot to give one of you guys a shout out for a month. So, uh, yeah, and I can't remember exactly who that was, but, uh, I got to it, so, guys, trust me, I will get to them, uh, don't unsubscribe or anything, but now I am open for taking shouts again, and I have a lot of room in this notebook, so, uh, yeah, be sure to ask in the comments if you want one. Okay, guys, so now on to the other RCs, the Slash, the Blast, and the EXO. I already went over the Rustler in the beginning, mainly just to announce that, uh, speedrun challenge that my friends and I are having, but uh, this thing is running like a champ. Uh, I have no complaints, that new VXL system works perfectly, uh, and one thing I do want to say though is it's kind of dirty from my last one, well not really dirty, just full of uh, dead grass. I got to go dump that out here in a minute, but uh, 
Nothing structural with this truck has broke at all, so I'm very, very happy about that. And I am glad to say that this thing is back up and running and has regained its title as the Beast Slash. So, uh, yeah, I do not expect this thing to break anytime soon. I do need to make a couple adjustments on the rear. As you guys can see, this is a little loose, but that's just from screws rattling around. I can fix that pretty easily. But, uh, yeah, I'm very happy that this thing is back up and running. And, uh, yeah, expect to see this thing in the bash video for once uh, with a lot of footage of it. Because uh, I'm just really glad that this thing is up and running, you guys, and I want it to be the main feature in my bash video because it is uh, my first RC, my first hobby grade RC, I should say, and probably my favorite. So, yeah, that's it for the slash. All right, so uh, here's the verdict on the XO. You guys can guess right now. Uh, in fact, post it in the comments. Do you think this thing is broken? The answer is no, it is not broken for once. The thing has been running perfectly, I have no complaints, I have been running it pretty hard, I have literally no issues with it, uh, it's running fine, I'm happy. So uh, yeah, the XO can stay VXL, I will eventually put this motor back into my Rustler just so I have that cool red mesh on there, but uh, yeah you guys, this thing is running great, I have no complaints, I uh, don't have any upgrades in coming for it due to not having any money, but I uh, Went ahead and threw my trenchers on there. They look really sticky because I ran them through, uh, I can't remember what it's called, like, not mold compound, but it's what they use on the roads when they're sealing it. It's like this white tar crap. Uh, I don't, they do it mainly uh, where I live because when the road freezes up, it'll crack and they just try and do that to prevent it. But I ran it on some of that stuff when it was wet and the tires are still very, very sticky. Uh, which is kind of a good thing and a bad thing. They're sticky because like whenever I try and pick it up, it tries to bring the towel with it. And uh, good thing because I get more traction. But uh, yeah, this thing's up and running. No complaints, no problems. I haven't ran it in a while uh, due to just not wanting to, working on my other cars. But yeah, I kind of uh, am happy with where it's at. And I am glad to say that it works. So yeah. Okay, guys. So for the last RC overview, I'm going to be overviewing the Blast. And that is, uh, the only thing that I've done with it is I put a brushless system in it, and that's it, you guys. <laughs> uh, not really too much to it, but I just went ahead and I threw this extra axial system in there. The ESC is a little glitchy. I will replace it eventually, like I say. I will do stuff eventually, you guys. Just right now, I do not have any money to do it. So uh, do expect that I will fix this crap and uh, get it up and running properly. 100% properly, uh, hopefully by the end of the year. And this thing won't be able to be run much longer before all the ponds freeze over. So, yeah, that's it for the blast. Now, guys, this week for feedback. This is a question that I've been wanting to ask for a while. Uh, should I go ahead and release the 200 subscribers bash at the end of the summer where the season turns into fall is when I originally planned on uh, sending it in, or not sending it in, but uh, putting it out onto YouTube, or do you think that I should wait until I get 300 subscribers so it could be a bigger, longer bash video with uh, more footage, more uh, editing, because so I can edit this over time, I can work on it for maybe 5 minutes a day, get 5 minutes of footage a day, and it could be anywhere from a uh, 5 to 15 minute bash video. Uh, the one at the end of the summer, I was only planning on having that one be like 5 to 10 minutes, but uh, I'm hoping that with all the RCs that I have now, I can go ahead and uh, do that all at once uh, with more footage, uh, hopefully being, if I didn't have this EXO, the summer bash just really wouldn't be worth it, but now that I have the EXO and the blast as two more RCs, I think that it would be more practical to do the summer one, but it just would not be as long. So uh, if you guys uh, have any suggestions, if you would like to wait until I hit 300 subscribers, which is quite a ways away, or it could be 250 or whatever. So just post your opinion on that in the comments. This isn't really a feedback question, this is more of an opinion question. So uh, yeah, that is it for uh, feedback this week, you guys. And that is all for this week's update, you guys. Uh, the last things that I would like to state about the Bash video is that I, 
it will contain all four of my RCs, so, and this ties into kind of what I'm about to say about the blast. I do have a run video for that, but I don't know if I should upload the entire thing. Maybe just do like a quick preview, like a minute long, so I have some footage to put into the bash video. Because once school starts up, you guys, trust me, I will not have time to drive my blast at all. Uh, the only times I'll be able to do that is on the weekends, and I'm usually pretty busy, busy on the weekends with sports and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, uh, I hope that I can get this into the bash video as much as I want to. Because trust me, this thing is pretty cool, you guys. It's not a crappy little brush system in there anymore. It's got a lot of power. Uh, I will be uploading the video after this update and just after I get a little bit of feedback just to kind of get a baseline of where you guys are and what you want me to do. So uh, yeah guys, that is all for this week's update. Just remember to leave a like on this video, rate, comment, subscribe. I enjoy all your feedback and I will see you guys again soon. Goodbye. Alright guys, so for this week's custom RC shout out goes to my friend Raymond. He has an amazing HPI drift car. It looks absolutely sick. It has a Mitsubishi Lancer Evo body on it, and it just looks really cool. And I can't remember what this last car is, but I really do enjoy it. Good job, man.